Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie. We are back here today. I decided to film right in front of my fun new little funky office space that I redecorated in the previous video. Thank you guys so much for all your love on that. Um, I've been getting so many wonderful comments and it's just been really, really warming me old heart. So thank you guys so much for the interaction on that. I'm really trying to post more, get back into my YouTube groove feel my sweet pixie YouTube roll, what? So yeah, really, really, really um, happy to see you guys liking the content. I like you. Today, I wanted to do another mental health related video, uh, more so of kind of tips and tricks. I don't wanna use the word hack, but like things that I have been implementing in my life recently, um, and some of them are kind of like fun little arts and crafty times too. So there's like the occupational therapy element, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, I will give the ye olden disclaimer. I am not a mental health professional. I am only mentally ill. So this is more of like a big sibling pixie kind of advice thing and not like a resource replacement for therapy at all. These are just things that I've been implementing. You get it, you get it. I'm not a doctor. Unless it is Dr. Bitchcraft. The first tool that I have discovered through therapy by help of my therapist and really implemented into my life, um, it's called an emotion wheel. I thought that this would be really, really valuable for anyone else who struggles with mood regulation, emotional regulation. This really uh, came in handy when I was struggling worse with um, intrusive thoughts. Trigger warning for sewer slideality. But yeah, back in um, August a bit, I was struggling with kind of always jumping to the worst case scenario. And I kind of had this this intrusive thought that would always jump to like, oh, it's just freaking like KMS. And like, I, I never had a plan. It wasn't like, I, I think, you know, there, there was no like sound the alarms. Like I knew it wasn't like psych ward time, but it was definitely like, I need to stop defaulting to like, and my therapist realized something that would really, really help me would be an emotion wheel because I kept, you know, really just defaulting to get me out of here, get me out of here, um, whenever I would be very, very frustrated or very, very overstimulated or very, very irritated. And just having that visual uh, recognition of, okay, no, I, I, I'm not, I'm just very, very distressed. I'm not. I'm just feeling a little bit hopeless, you know? And so my therapist actually uh, spent some time looking for a good one for me because I'm very, very visual. I color code absolutely everything as you're going to see in the rest of this video. So that visualization of a colored wheel, just like, you know, a color wheel for like art and rainbows, but with different emotions. And then the scale of the emotion gets more intense as you go in or out of the circle. So I decided to actually do my own as a little homey worky assignment and make it like a flower and it's really cute and nice and I don't even need to like ever actually really look at it because this this was implemented several months ago like I said it was like August back in the summer um, and now I it's just such a habit that I don't have those intrusive thoughts anymore because I was reasoning myself out of every single one quite quickly once I realized oh no no no, no baby baby you're just like agitated you're just overstimulated you're just like in a fight with someone right now like it's not the end of the world so that's been very valuable sorry that's a little vulnerable I feel a little weird like talking about this but we know that I have borderline and you know I don't want to always just show like the rainbow happy happy fun time side of it like it is it is chronic to kind of struggle with study a little bit throughout your life especially when you're going through different treatments and working on like trauma stuff so yeah I'm okay but this has helped a lot a lot a lot so for anyone else who struggles with black and white thinking that's the word for it black and white thinking um this can really really help and you can maybe do a little arts and crafts project to make your own like i did so yeah that has been super super life-changing and valuable and i think it would be a very very good bpd hack especially okay moving on 
This next hack is a little bit more for my dissociative folks, or perhaps maybe this would help with like ADHD, anything with like uh, memory and forgetfulness. I need to start remembering what day it is, like really bad. And again, this was brought up by my therapist. He didn't so much recommend the um, bracelet element of it, but I was talking about like, you know, I'll go to a respond to an email and I thought that I received it three days ago and it'll say it was 14 days ago and like I just don't know where the time is going. Like kind of like three days of the week will blend together and feel like one day and like all of a sudden it's Saturday. So this has been life changing. The thing my therapist actually recommended me to do was to color code my days of the week um, because I'm so visual and I color code everything and that really 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 helps me for some reason. But basically I didn't do the whole like is it synesthesia? I didn't do the whole thing where it's like, what color does Monday feel to you? You guys should put that down below. What colors are your days of the week if you get that? Um, but I chose not to do that because if it wasn't in Roy G. Biv rainbow order, I think I would lose my little nugget. So um, it starts Sunday is pink, Monday is this pretty coral, Tuesday is yellow, Wednesday is lime, Thursday is blue, Friday is this indigo color, and then Saturday is a pretty lavender, and then I like it because Saturday and Sunday are pink and purple, and so they kind of go together as like little friends. This has been life-changing for me. It might sound silly, it, it, this might sound like totally ridiculous to you guys, but like, Oh my god, I've actually been staying on planet Earth and like recognizing where I am. I just put them on first thing in the morning. I have them on a little hooky thing uh, right on my bedside table. But yeah, this one's kind of a twofer. Uh, so color coding your days so that you can kind of remember like where am I, what am I, what is going on. Especially because I'm not in school or work anymore. I think that's why I'm like in the void. And then hack uh, number 2.B is to make little bracelets so that if you ever like come out of a dissociative moment you can be like it's Friday. Yeah, very pleased, very pleased. And I was worried that I would hate to wear them because sometimes I get, I just like want to rip off all my bracelets because it feels like it's, I don't know, bleh. sensory anger. But these are, I made them elastic so they wouldn't jingle jangle around and they're quite non-intrusive and I literally fall asleep with them on sometimes. So yay, I'm so pleased. I feel like I've truly hacked my brain. My therapist was very proud. I was like, hey, I did it. And guess what? I did crafts. My third hack is, <laughs> I said I was gonna call them hacks. <laughs> my third little uh, tip slash mental health thing that I have changed to make my life better. Hack is easier. <laughs> But this is actually shower and bath related. Um, a lot of people with many, many, many different struggles, friggin' just depression, anxiety, anything can lead to struggles with hygiene. And I realized I really, really hate washing my face. Um, I really hate like the water dripping down my arm here and then making my my clothes wet would just make me freaking lose it and like I just could it was just it was just a whole stress so I would like go to bed with my makeup on and now that I'm gluing my eyebrows down and putting on like 18 pounds of glitter that's a problem. There's also kind of two parts to this hack. I don't know, you guys are probably already doing this. But in my life, it has been revolutionary to start washing my face in the shower. Is that not normal? <laughs> but yeah, I just straight up, I brought in my little skincare routine. It is nothing exciting, I promise you. I literally, my skincare routine is a crime because I usually don't do it. But I started actually washing my face and then using a little tiny moisturizer and it literally Really makes me feel like a different person. It makes me feel like the sun is shining on my face and I'm like in the Teletubby opening field. Like it's it's ridiculous. Um, so that has been spectacular, simply washing my face in the shower because then I don't get the sensory uh, anger of like the water like being where it is not supposed to upon my dry clothes. 
everything's wet, mama. We're in the shower. This is all right. The, oh, did I say there was a part two to this? It's not very exciting. I just got one of those scrubby brushes so I can like scrubby scrub like real good. Cause like, I don't know, something about the loofah. I was just, I started to not trust the loofah cause I felt like maybe there's like mold inside it. I don't know, probably not. I just felt like since I cannot see the inside of the loofah, like it must be hiding something. Anyway, so I got one of those like brush things and um, it is helping me to exfoliate more iconically. That's not a hack. Anyway, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for you to discover and enjoy. It is curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and the classes are usually around an hour, give or take, total in length, but then they're chopped up into little minutes-sized portions for you to consume on the go. I suppose you could consider it as well a mental health tip. Um, I started using some of their productivity classes, which have been really great on trying to plan and organize your perfect day and like structuring my own work day as my own boss and like being like hello and last but not least the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today so thank you so so much again to skillshare for supporting the channel Thank you guys for joining me for another video. This one I have been wanting to film for a little bit and I just think they're fun. Two of them have cute little crafty things. You can spend time with your markers and your and your little beads and it's like a sweet little act of self-care. And maybe it'll be really, really useful to you like it has been for me. I love you guys so, 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 so much and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, cause this one's over. Bye.